Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a Star Wars rant. Okay. Um, so I've been watching this Ashoka series, uh, and I, I got a couple of things I gotta get off my chest here. Uh, now I'm I've been watching the Star Wars ever since I was a kid. I I didn't see the first one in the theaters, but I saw the the, the second one. I saw Empire Strikes Back. I saw the Return of the Jedi. You know, so so I kind of grew up with Star Wars. By no means a fanatic, right? But it was just something I watched, something I you know I've been following over the years. Um, and uh, they they ever since Disney bought it, they've been kind of going off the rails a little bit. Um, some people have had major major problems with the way uh, Disney has been going. Uh, I think the, la the last Jedi was one that like really you know pissed a lot of people off i mean i didn't there's a lot of things in that that kind of rubbed me the wrong way but it wasn't like you know like i wasn't like okay i'm never gonna watch this again um a lot of people didn't like the one with han solo uh, with the younger han solo i forgot the name of that one was uh, i mean i kind of like it i think that the problem with that was that the, the one before it had pissed people off and that's why the Han Solo one didn't do so well. Um, but overall, I've, I've uh, up until this point, right, when I was watching all of these Star Wars movies, right, I was, you know, you're like you're sitting there, you're you're kind of like uh, rooting for the for the rebels or for the Republic, you know. Um, but with this Ashoka series, they they and now I'm only into episode two, right? I, I watched the first one, I watched the second one. They're up to episode eight. I mean, I'm you know again, I'm not a fanatic, so I just kind of watch it whenever I get around to it. So I'm up to episode two, and uh, this is the first time that I'm like like rooting for the Empire. Okay, they've got I'm mean, I'm so disgusted with these characters on the uh, I don't I guess rebellion slash republic side. I'm so disgusted with these characters that I'm rooting uh, for the for the Empire. Okay, so uh, I, I, I I'm kind of wondering if there's other people out there that are starting to feel the same. Um, so uh, what the thing the, the thing that's making me sick is they're like really pushing this wokest bullshit, right? This woke leftist socialist BS. Uh, to the max, okay. Um, so they've got uh, on the Republic side, they've got these three characters. They got the character Ashoka. Uh, there's this green general chick, all right? She's supposed to be general. She comes across more like a high school guidance counselor, okay. So that's that's a very weak. Uh, and I, I mean the I mean the, the, the I mean the, the character comes across as weak, not so much as. It, in what the character is doing, but in the way it's being presented, I think. Uh, so, so, so the green, the green uh, general chick is weak. Like, like I said, she's more like a high school guidance counselor type of personality. Uh, and then you got the, I guess, the Asian uh, Boba Fett chick. I, I'm just referring to her as Asian because that's I don't remember her name. It's the only thing that kind of makes her stand out to me. Uh, and I, I, you know, through through the first one, right when I watched the first episode, I was like. Well, I don't know. Maybe you know. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like her or not like her. I, I wasn't sure. But uh, the, in the second one, they she started becoming really, really annoying. Uh, and I think they kind of put it over the top when they had her like cut her hair off. I'm like, okay, what kind of point are they trying to make now? Like now she's gone like full feminist. Okay. Um, so I, now the Ashoka character by herself, I think would have been fine. If they didn't have like two other characters pushing like that 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 strong independent woman, right? Because they're really pushing it. They 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 didn't need those other two weak characters backing her up. Okay, they don't. They didn't need those other two characters because that 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 actually creates overall it creates weakness. Okay, they should have just left Ashoka alone to do her thing. Okay, uh, and then just. You know, had maybe two other characters, you know, pushing two different angles. Except, you know, besides the same one, right? Where they're pushing this, 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 you know, this strong independent woman BS. You know, um, so I, I don't think that the character Shoka needed that. Okay, they, they could have came up with two uh, other characters that were like completely doing something different, different personalities. They didn't need to back her up that way. Okay, so. 
on on the on the Empire side, right? Uh, the three characters that I'm seeing so far uh, is you got that one dude. Where's he's tall, thick guy. I, I have no. I, his name is like Bane or Brain or something, something, something like that. I like this character, right? Um, he's like a stoic figure, you know, stoic figure. Like kind of like you, the character comes across as like, you know, knowing who he is, knowing who he wants, having a vision, you know, knowing what you know. So so I like the character, okay. Um, and then you've got like these two witches that he's hanging out with, right? Uh, one is a young one with white hair, like Shin, so the name is so. I like that character, right? And then there's another witch uh, that's that's older. Um, again, I also like that character. So it's not like I hate women, right? It's not like I, I hate women that know how to fight. I, I like those two characters. Uh, but those two characters are more realistic. You know, they got like more real personalities. Uh, they got, you know, like, like the flaws. Because, oh, you know, with these characters, you want to, I guess they want to present strengths. They want to present weaknesses. The strengths and weaknesses that they present in those two witch, female witch characters, uh, they're believable, right? The ones, the strengths and weaknesses that they present on the other side, right? The, uh, the, the Mandalorian and the green chick, uh, the, the, the Asian Mandalorian and the, and, the, and the green guidance counselor chick, those, those, the strengths and weaknesses that they present are just, they're just not believable. It's just not convincing. Um, question is like, am I going to go back and watch episode three? The answer is yes. And the reason is because I'm rooting for the empire. Okay. And that is probably what is going to save this Star Wars franchise in the long run, right? Because I think people are going to just get completely disgusted with these characters being uh, presented on the rebellion slash republic side. Uh, and people are going to start like really defecting over to the empire like I have. Okay. So, and, and, and the, the interesting thing is like, I never felt this way up until now, right? Because I watched like the original Star Wars. I watched the three that came after that, right? Uh, with, with, with Anakin. Uh, I watched the Mandalorian series, right? The one with, with Yoda, you know, through all of that. Yeah. I was, you know, rooting for the Republican. If I was rooting for, for I was, I was rooting for the Republic. I was rooting for Yoda, for the Mandalorian. So, you know, um, so, you know, I, I watched the Boba Fett series. Some people didn't like, didn't, said they didn't like it. I kind of liked it. Okay. Um, you know, but it's not until now, right, that they've got me rooting for the Empire. So I'm, these three characters are like, blech, you can't stand them, you know. Um, you know, these, these three women that they have on the, I guess, on the, on the Republic side. I mean, yuck. Um, so... And again, it's not like I hate women because you got three other characters on the Empire side, right? The two witches, right? Sorry, the two witches on the other side. I like those characters. Um, so uh, here's the thing: I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna go forward. I'll watch the third episode, right? Uh, I'm gonna stick with it. Now, my patience with this kind of woke stuff is not without limit. Okay. Um, now uh, let's look at the Star Trek series again been watching those since you know uh, the original series was on tv you know back in the 70s um you know i was still i was a kid back then but um so so i like the original series now yeah they loaded that up with some liberalish type of ideas but they didn't like overload it right they didn't like throw it in your face that hard um you know the focus was more on the storyline right on, on what they were doing right they didn't like just say hey this is the main thing that we're going to talk about you know um, so I had watched the Star Trek from the beginning. Uh, I watched the New Generation. I, I liked that. Uh, again, they had some leftist socialist ideas in there, uh, which I could kind of overlook. You know, I could look past that to the stuff I like. Okay. Um, then they did the uh, Deep Space Nine. I kind of liked that, right? Especially you know the the, the Klingon Wars. That was you know and and. and uh, uh, I forgot what it is, the different sides that they had fighting. That was that was also pretty cool. I like that. The Voyager series, yeah, it, it was okay. I kind of like that. Yeah, but there was things in there that I didn't like, but you could kind of look past it, right? Because they put enough stuff in there that I did like. But then they got to this Discovery one. Okay, the Discovery one, like I, I, the first season was kind of like, okay, I could stomach it because they had some Klingons in there. There was some good fighting. 
you know, this I, I was actually rooting for, again. I was rooting for the Klingons in that one, right? Uh, they, they, Discovery, the first season, was the one where they had me switch over to the other side. Okay, I started hating this Federation, started liking the other side, right? Because I was like, ah, these characters suck on this side. And then when they got into season two, uh, you know, I I kind of reached my limit. I think I went a little bit into it. I, I, I don't think I made it to season three uh, because there was just nothing there for me to root for or, I, you know, it, it just it just sucked. I just lost my patience with it. I'm like, I don't want to watch this anymore. I can't, I can't watch this anymore. Like, I would try to watch it. Like, I would watch it for five minutes and then I, I'd have to flip to something else. Okay, so, so Star Trek Discovery, I mean, they just completely ran out my patience okay uh so a warning to star wars you know our patience my patience our patience is not without limit okay there's only so far i'm going to go with this uh i think in the long run what they're gonna end up doing right at some point they're gonna just get tired of losing so much money and so many fans that they're going to like you know the, you know the, the, you know at some point I think that the Empire is going to end up coming back into power because people are going to be rooting for it. They're going to want the Empire to come into, back into power because they're going to hate the, the, the rebellion slash, uh, uh, you know, New Republic side. So uh, let me know what you guys think. So, you know, that, that's my rant for today. So, uh, you know, obviously this is completely off topic of the things that I, I normally cover in this channel. But I, I, I do from time to time cover lots of different things, okay? Okay. Um, uh, one of the benefits of doing this is that it it brings in other people uh, to this channel and introduces them to some new ideas, introduces them to some new hobbies, maybe right, gets them into different things, right. So that's one of the reasons why I I don't just focus on one thing on this channel. I focus on lots of different things that are, are interest to me. Uh, so hopefully it draws in uh, more people. So let me know what you guys think, uh, and you know put in the comments below, and I'll talk to you all soon.